so my favorite perk has been the cell phone stipend because my mom's been wanting me to get off her cell phone bill forever. There's a lot of swag that comes our way from Harness, and I really like that. So for the folks listening right now that are in charge of the swag, you're doing a really good job. I think this this uh, swag here, this, like it's, it was the most important thing Harness gave to me because I, I didn't drink water at all. Now I drink at least like one, two bottles. So it's, to be fair, when I first joined and I got my welcome pack, I was like, wow, this is a this is a really cool company. I just got quite excited and it reminded me a little bit of the internship. <laughs> my favorite uh, company perk has been probably the uh, $500 stipend uh, for working at home. I bought a new HD monitor, uh, which I would never splurge on that for myself. I could get a very comfortable chair so I can sit through all these Zoom meetings. Uh, all day. Definitely my favourite perk uh, was my beer fridge I purchased by my desk. My favourite company uh, perk is Gong. I think with the ramp it, it helps folks like myself just learn the content and the material um, a lot faster. So otherwise we'd be shadowing calls, scraping people's calendars and yeah, just been super impressed with the way we use tools. All of the amazing um, you know, monthly events our uh, HR team, Juan in, in particular, organized. Uh, I did one uh, called Dancing on the Dough, where we made ramen noodles, and my kids ask for it every day. My favorite perk was seeing that rap artist. That was so cool. So this is my, uh, I'll say one of my favorite companies, Perk as getting the Celsius in. I say thank you, Monica, the office manager here in the Dallas office. She's amazing. Um, these are pretty much the healthy version of a Red Bull or a Monster, and they have vitamins. I pick up new uh, Zoom techniques and how to operate Zoom every time Jason presents. TJIF, <laughs> it's uh, the best book. TGIFs. TGIF Fridays. TGIF. For sure the TGIF. The TGIF. The TGIF. The TGI uh, Fridays is something that I think allows uh, all of us to just kind of settle in and think about kind of the overall strategy and not so much kind of take a pause, but just kind of think about the bigger picture. It's got to be TGI Fridays for sure. Uh, having that extra day off um, once a month really, really, uh, you know, shows that Harness cares about our work-life balance. And I haven't been at a company which actually offers that perk before. I love these. Um, I love the music when we open up group sessions. I love our guests that we've had. Uh, Jocko, and I love these movies to get the authentic authenticity of people. I don't know if you interviewed Ashley, but Ashley Lachlan, Lachlan, I think is how you say last name, like when she sang at the very end. Yeah, it was like, it was like my first week or second week at the company. I was like, I like Harness. This is going to be fun. The complete transparency in feedback that sometimes it's harsh to take, but it's good because you always know where, uh, where are we standing. I love the uh, transparency. I love the way uh, everybody just knows everything about how decisions are made. Overall, the accountability has been what has stood out most to me across the organization. And yeah, everybody is uh, is held to a very high standard. On the old Hans call every couple of weeks, it's really rare to be on a call with everybody from the company uh, and say our thoughts, news, all that kind of stuff. That's, that's amazing. Yesterday I was on a PG call, but we were 90 people on the call and everybody was just sharing what it was up to. And somebody just said, you know, I'm not happy with my results the way that it worked out for me last week. And I was shocked because it was the first time that I, that I saw just somebody just to stand up and, and share openly among 90 people, you know, that things are actually not going well and get feedback how to improve. I do really like Canary Kudos. I do really like that people are actively trying to see and um, mention what's being done well and supporting each other and uh, showing what's good. The celebration of success among uh, all of our teammates is, uh, is really unique and a great part of our culture.
One thing we were lucky to do in the UK was that we were able to meet in person. So, for example, actually this week we had a event. Uh, it was a it was a horse race um, where we just all like the whole team met. We had we had drinks. We were watching the horses. We were betting on horses, and yeah, we're able to to get to know each other. So we have a a um, women in a Mia meetup that we do, and we've been able to meet in person one time and the other times have been virtual, just a, a weekly sync to catch up. How, how collaborative the team's been, um, how open everybody has been really to, uh, no, to, gr to grow the right way. I thought the new hire orientation was fantastic. Um, everybody's very human, um, much more so than, than other companies that I've worked for in the past. This is partly, I think, being part of, of the EMEA team, but I think it's also part of the bigger culture for, for uh, Harness in general. But, it becomes almost like you know being on a sports team. It's like you huddle up and you're like, okay, let's go, let's go take this market. And that energy is uh, quite unbeatable. I haven't yet been in an organization where everyone's been so kind and so invested in you as an individual and also in your career. The biggest thing I've noticed ever starting Harness is just how much hustle there is. Everyone had, knows exactly what the priority is of the company. Everyone is so willing to help. I, I like to be bold, <laughs> to be creative, to make a difference, to make an impact, uh, trying to, you know, to be yeah, someone unique. And be bold is a good definition for that. I certainly love how we're all willing to continuously improve. You know, we're always looking for areas that keep getting better. The biggest thing that I've really enjoyed has been, um, you know, the, the embracing the, the, the concept of remember the you. Uh, you know, I think it's a, I think it's a cultural element that everyone that I've met so far really lives and breathes, uh, and it's, it's just, it's super cool to kind of just know that, you know, we can just be ourselves, and, and we, you know, we come together as a team, and you know, we're working towards the same thing, and it's just, it's a great feeling.